In this video, we're going to dive into the mind of that girl you like, but who's ignoring you. We'll discover how she thinks, and I'll walk you through step by step to understand exactly what you need to do to make her chase after you. There are two reasons why a girl might ignore you. Either the ignoring is a test, or she sees you as a guy with limited options. You saw her, liked her, and started giving her way too much attention, making her feel like she's the only girl you want, and that you're willing to do anything to please her because you believe you don't have much value, and your only dream is for her to notice you. I think you get the point. Now, how do you know what's the reason she's ignoring you? Spoiler alert, it's most likely the second reason. Why? Because the test of ignoring only happens when a woman is interested in you. So, if this girl who's ignoring you is someone you you've already gone out with, or you sensed she was interested in you at some point, then it's probably just a test. But if she wasn't interested in you from the start and shows no signs of caring, then you're likely facing the second issue. I'll talk more about the ignore test in a future video in this series, but today we're focusing on the girl who's not interested in you and is ignoring you. I'll share with you a technique that will make her start chasing after you. To remind you, the reason a girl ignores you is that she senses you don't have many other options in your life, and she feels like you're chasing her because she's the only one you care about. And don't worry, this isn't one of those videos telling you to date a bunch of girls to seem like you have options. Trust me, the game is much simpler than that. I still remember when I first realized this issue, I asked myself, how do I fix this problem? It wasn't a mistake I was making, it was just my reality. No girl was interested in me, and this wasn't an issue that could be easily fixed. I fought long and hard, and told myself, if a girl likes a guy who has many options, and I don't have those options, then the only thing I can do is lie. And this was one of the biggest mistakes I made in my dating life. When I would talk to a girl, I'd start lying, making up stories about imaginary girls I had been with. I would talk about girls who didn't exist and lie just to make the girl I was talking to think I had options. But despite this, the results were the exact opposite. And here's where I want to stop and give you a piece of advice. Please don't make the same mistake I did because this approach leads to only two outcomes. Either the girl will figure out you're lying and trust me, she'll find out easily. And lying is a huge attraction killer because it makes her feel like you're willing to do anything to get her approval. Or the second outcome is that she'll understand that you're trying to convey that you have lots of options, which means you're seeking her approval. And if you've been following my series on how to attract women, you'll know that this is one of the biggest mistakes you can make. Whether you lie directly or try to hint that you have many options, all you're doing is making the situation worse. So please, don't be like me and make that mistake. Now, the question is, how do you make her believe you have options without lying when you actually don't have any? When I first got into the field of learning how to attract women, I realized that women don't care if you have a lot of options in your life or not. What matters to them is how you interact with them. If you treat her in a way that suggests you have options, she'll assume you do. And the best way to do this is through a technique I like to call the qualifying technique. Now, I want you to sit down, focus, and listen to every word I'm about to say. Qualifying means screening or filtering, and it's something you would only ever think to do if you had a lot of options and you needed to filter them out. So just by qualifying a girl, you are instantly sub-communicating that you have a lot of options because only guys with options would ever do this. This is one of my favorite technique because it's so powerful and so overlooked by other guys. This is also the best way to solidify a girl's attraction for you, to go from flirting and small talk, which might fizzle out and die at any moment to, I really like this guy and I want to know more about him. How can I impress him and make him like me more. Remember the mantra, be the chooser, not the chaser? Qualifying is how you make her feel like you're choosing her over other girls, like she's starting to win you over and impress you. And not because of the way she looks, but because of who she is as a person. You want her to feel like she's winning you over, not just a random girl you're chasing. And in order for that to happen, she needs to know that you like her for qualities other than just her looks. If you don't qualify her in some way, she will get the impression that you're just saying whatever it takes to get into her pants, or that you don't have a lot of options and you'll take pretty much any girl you can get. But when you do qualify her, she will get the impression that you are choosy because you have options and that you have chosen her for a specific reason. So, how do you qualify a girl and make her feel special and unique? Here are three of the best ways to do it. But before we continue, please give it a like. We want this video to reach 3,500 likes. Anyway, let's move on. On the qualifying question. Ask her a question that gets her to share some qualities about herself and then acknowledge her for those qualities. For example, you know, I've met so many people tonight, but for some reason, I'm drawn to you. I just feel really comfortable talking to you and I don't know why that is. I'm so curious, what would you say is your most positive quality? I mean, if you had to say one thing, what would it be? Imagine asking her that. She's going to think to herself, what can I tell this guy that will make him like me more? Then she's going to start telling you about herself, hoping that you like her and accept her for those reasons. She's going to sell herself to you. And when you accept her, just say, wow, that's really cool. I like that about you. She's going to feel a little more special in your eyes. Like she's not just a random girl and you're actually interested in who she is. 
Plus, now you're starting to learn more about her and finding new conversational threads to open up and continue talking to her about. Here's another example. You know, I wasn't sure what you'd be like before I came over here, but you're actually really fun and easy to talk to. And I'm, I'm kind of curious about you now. What's something really interesting about you? Just make sure that whatever she tells you, you accept her for it. Otherwise, she'll feel like she put herself on the line and got rejected. But when she sells herself to you and you accept her for it, she'll start to feel like she's won you over with her personality, not her looks. This is really important since a lot of really attractive women are used to men valuing them only for their looks and they get sick of it real fast. This will set you apart and distinguish you as a guy who has standards, who filters his options and who has chosen this one particular girl because she's special and different. No, you don't have to accept everything in it. And please watch the entire series to fully understand because if you only apply what's in this video, you might end up in the friend zone. Anyway, Two, the self-fulfilling prophecy. You're going to make a statement acknowledging a certain quality that you noticed in her. When she accepts that your statement is true, she'll feel really good about herself and she'll start to act more consistent with that quality around you. For example, you know, there are a lot of really cute, interesting girls here at the bar, but I'm just really having a great time talking to you. I'm not sure if anyone has ever told you this before, but for me, it feels like you're really open and that's so refreshing. A lot of people are really closed off when they first meet someone. So I appreciate that. Would you say that's true? You want to end the statement with a question that invites her to say yes because once she says yeah I guess I'm pretty open, she will start to act more consistent to that and actually become more open around you. The key is to make it a genuine statement, something she'll feel good about saying yes to. Plus, she'll feel like you recognize something valuable about her that no one else understands and you both share a special connection. You would feel the same way if you liked a girl and she went out of her way to recognize something unique about you that she appreciated, making you different from other guys around her. Make sense? Another example. Know what I like about you? You're so bold. Like, you don't filter yourself at all. You just say what's on your mind and don't try to censor it and i really like that it's refreshing it makes me feel comfortable around you but i mean that's just my impression i could be wrong would you say that's true? The key is to make it open-ended and positive, something that will feel good for her to say yes to, and to make it vague enough that she can't definitively say no. You accept her for being something, and once she steps into that frame, she feels like she should be that kind of person in order to be accepted. So she becomes that person around you and feels really special and lucky to be with you. Once you do this, you shouldn't be shocked when she really starts to open up to you and feel emotionally close, as if you've known each other for a long time. And of course, be prepared to open up and be genuine with her as well. Other great qualities to look for in her. Open, fun, intelligent, adventurous, spontaneous, confident, sexually confident, easy to talk to. Finally, here's a great qualifying statement to say to an extremely good looking girl. I bet a lot of people don't realize how smart you are. This is a truism for a lot of really attractive women. They wish more people would recognize their intelligence since most people only recognize their beauty. That's true of most people. Whatever they are used to hearing, they don't value as much and there's usually something they secretly wish more people would recognize them for. Pretty girls want to be told they're smart and smart girls want to be told they're pretty. Before we continue, I want to let you know that I've created an online course that contains a step-by-step -step formula that will make women attracted to you regardless of what you think you're lacking. In it, you'll find exactly what women are attracted to in a man on a deep psychological level beyond superficial things like height, looks, or money. You will find the link in the video description. Anyway, let's move on. 3. Notice and acknowledge when she qualifies herself. Quite often, girls will qualify themselves to you all on their own and you don't even have to do anything except notice and acknowledge her for it for example girl bragging and telling you things about herself in the hopes that you'll accept her for it girl chasing you with her positive body language facing you getting close to you etc girl touching you and showing direct interest demonstrating that she likes you and wants you to like her back girl asking if you're single girl showing off for you whenever you get the feeling that a girl is qualifying herself to you meaning she's doing something with the intention of impressing you and getting you to like her more. You should acknowledge her for it and show appreciation. Just tell her what she's doing is cool. Tell her you like her. Put your arm around her. Do something to accept her and let her know she's winning you over. If you don't acknowledge her for doing these things, she's going to feel like she put her neck out there and got rejected and probably withdraw and start acting cold and indifferent toward you. But when you do acknowledge and accept her, she'll feel great and keep chasing you. So pay attention and notice when people qualify themselves to you. It's happening all around you every day. Just stop and recognize it. By the way, you don't even have to do this only with women. I often qualify other guys for doing things that impress me or for being a certain way that I appreciate and it makes them feel awesome to know they are seen and appreciated. It's just a really 
cool thing to do for other people. Acknowledge the things you appreciate about them out loud. For example, I often start conversations with friends by saying, you know what I like about you? Know what I just noticed about you? Hold up, I gotta acknowledge you for just a minute. When was the last time someone told you how awesome you are for doing XYZ? By the way, I'm thinking of starting a series about social skills, but I'd like to know your opinion first. If you want me to talk about social skills, let me know in the comments. Now, there's one more thing I want you to know. If you only apply what's in this video, it might be the fastest way to end up in the friend zone. That's why I urge you to watch the entire series to fully understand women's psychology. I'm sharing knowledge that took me years to acquire, and I'm giving it to you for free. And don't forget to tell me about the problems you're facing in the comments. I genuinely want to know the issues you're dealing with in your life, so I can also know what to talk about in the next video. I used to fall apart, lose myself and give my heart.